So hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So one of the most anticipated pickup trucks is now on my channel. This is the all new 2024 Mitsubishi Triton GLX. So this is one of the base models, well a bit closer now to the middle trim variant. So I'd like to thank everyone here again at Mitsubishi Auto Hub BGC and to Sir Ram and to Sir Mark for making this all possible. Being one of the near base models, so you get halogen lights all around. Your LEDs are now positioned up here, similar like with the uh, expand. Cross. Mitsubishi heavily incorporated now the dynamic shield design right here on the grill and something I've never appreciated with uh, some pickup trucks out there in general uh, usually the logo of the car brand above here are usually chromed out but for this Triton this is embossed on the grill that's actually a very good uh, job done by Mitsubishi it's not the usual chromed out here and there you get new front bumpers as well over here ground clearance is much higher too than the previous Strada this one now stands at 228 millimeters and then here where I am on the side these are running on 18 inch alley wheels and something too uh, interesting compared with some pickup trucks out there here on the side profile even up to the back there's no cladding here whatsoever i like they didn't put any plastic here whatsoever so it gives it a better look of course if you want the uh, ones with the plastic cladding you can opt for the uh, triton athlete so biggest talking point now with this triton well i'll give my thoughts on the uh, athlete very soon so in the meantime with this uh, triton glx pairing this thing oh my gosh this is so heavier now compared to before goes to show Mitsubishi have heavily developed this vehicle so everything's more durable and a lot safer now than before so this engine is still the same with the uh, previous Strada except for the uh, Titan Athlete let's not forget so this one is powered by a 2.4 liter turbocharged four-cylinder diesel engine that produces additional two more horsepower at 180 horsepower and 413 newton meters of torque and still the same this one is mated to a six-speed automatic transmission so again i give my thoughts on the uh, newer titan athlete because that has a completely new engine compared with this one so gls to this glx and the gl are the same single turbo uh, engine and to this is the biggest heat shield I've ever seen in any pickup truck. So before we continue on, so here's a word from today's sponsor. Apex Racing Philippines is the distributor of the ultimate sim racing equipment here in the Philippines. And they just lent me out their flagship Moza product. So we have the R12 wheelbase, the RSV2 steering wheel, and CRP pedals. So I will have content coming soon with the simulator. I'm just literally enjoying it until the time I have it. But in future videos, that equipment will come in handy since I'm training a lot now for this uh, 2024 season at eCart Raceway. And the 20. 24 Camus Drift Motor Speed Week karting season and let's not forget this coming uh, weekend by the time of this shoot I will be participating in the Gymkhana Practice 3 so stay tuned for those upcoming videos right on my channel so here now on the side of this Titan GLX yes there's some chrome bits still here but it's not uh, as OA as some of the other brands out there so you get chrome here on the door handles and chrome here too on the side mirrors with your repeaters and surprisingly for a GLX model when you unlock and lock the car this side mirrors electronically fold and you have a very big side step over here and a little tissue for you but I wanted to show you uh, this in the interior segment listen to this door tad that sounds way better than the uh, previous Mitsubishi Strada. If not mistaken, this is the largest fuel uh, cover I've ever seen. It's probably as big as my driver's license. And I don't talk about suspensions this much, but I thought I'd give this Titan an exception. The rears now are running on multi-link suspension. Since this is based on the Nissan Navara, expect this ride comfort to be amongst one of the most comfortable pickup trucks out there. So you get the same set of wheels too. These are 18 inches. And now here at the rear of this Titan GLX, so another completely overall designed for the rear, even for these taillight casings. These are massive, they stretch all the way here to the rear load bed and as well being the GLX, everything is all halogen. And new too, since this being called the Titan now, no longer called the Strada, you have a Triton badge over here and being this uh, near base model you have a, still a reverse camera and sadly no electronic assist for the tailgate I will not uh, do that famous yeah anyways <laughs> here we are so another big improvement too compared with the Strada this has a much bigger 
uh, payload capacity this one stands at 1115 kilograms so like almost 100 kilograms more than the previous Mitsubishi Strada you get tethering points too on either side of the loaded you have a total of four and hooks too on either side too which is cool and you have a very big Mitsubishi logo there in the middle Mitsubishi Lo, the joke <laughs> so that's about it with the engine the exterior and the load bed of this all new Mitsubishi Triton let's check out the interior where there significantly a lot lot more changes so this is the interior of the all new Mitsubishi Titan wow this feels way way better than the older Mitsubishi Stradas I thought I never say this again even though we had one well the previous two generations this is much more modern and much better I have to say so here in the door card a lot too has improved you get leather around the door handles and for your elbows and there's a carbon lodi trim over here around in the window switches it's a nice touch I have to say too and you get cabin spacious cup holders on either side even the biggest of water jacks will just about uh, fit in there ah that sounds way better than before and above here you have your halogen lights and sunglasses holder visor you only have a ticket clip holder here for the driver's seat but for the right front passenger you have the vanity mirror still don't extend but anyways so visually overall here in the interior yeah this looks so much better now than before and you get your expander style steering wheel here too again very nice to the touch so you get your phone connectivity and digital instrument cluster buttons on the left side and on the right side you have more phone connectivity buttons and surprisingly for this glx you have your cruise control functions which is pretty good here in your instrument cluster you still have an analog tachometer and speedometer but you have a modern tft display now right in the middle and i like you have a modern animation to once you leave the vehicle the lights will all dim out just like that gives it a little bit more of a luxurious vibe i have to say and then here on the left side you have a lot of blanks but that's fine but you have your headlight leveler adjustment and brightness for the instrument cluster and then biggest nitpick of mine in the interior of this titan and so far the only one there's no more paddle shifters over here but at least you still have manual mode here around in the gear shift yes it's all gloss back but you're not going to be touching that part anyways and here being this uh glx model you have an 8 inch infotainment system with apple carplay and android auto finally compared with the previous strada which only had a uh, bluetooth mirror link but i'm still keen to try that out in the future if i ever drive again an older strada model and two this is equipped with the reverse camera much much better than the strada i have to say further down you have two air conditioning vents and then your climate control functions are way further down below very similar yet again with the uh, modern expanders but you have more physical buttons here than usual and another big eye-catching feature here in the interior Mitsubishi finally caught up to by equipping this Titan with a double glove box that's much better and even around here the infotainment and the glove box itself is all leather yet i have to say i mean few hints of plastic here and there but again this is the glx model i can forgive it so back here in the middle you have a 12 volt socket a usb c port a usb port and a massive cubby space here for at least two phones and then here in the center console behind the gear shift you have a lot of spaces and then two cup holders a manual handbrake thank goodness sadly a big water jug will not fit there anymore and then center console box this one's as well red there decent amount of space but sadly you cannot fit a very big water jug inside and then being the glx model you have fabric seats all around the cabin but surprisingly they're very soft i love the cushion it's more one of the more comfortable uh, fabric seats i've tied out in a pickup truck or probably a car too in general bolstering i think a lot tighter now too than the uh pre than the previous mitsubishi strada so yeah that's about here in front of the oh there's one safety reminder here for your passenger airbag just above the uh rear view mirror so yeah that's about here in front of this mitsubishi titan glx let's check out the rear seats so this is the rear of the mitsubishi titan here in the door card same Matthias like the ones in front and to my very big water jug will just about fit and again oh much better again than the previous strada so surprisingly space here in the back more or less the same but it feels very spacious nevertheless i have very good feet room knee room and my headroom i think improved as well from uh, the previous strada 
and behind both front seats you have two map pockets and actually just so now there's two more above here right behind the right front passenger seat and a very big upgrade compared with the uh, previous Strada you have a 12 volt socket a USB C port and a USB port here right in the middle very good with that and the seats here overall yet again it's all fabric but still very comfortable to sit in and one of my big complaints gotta be honest with this Titan so make that two now uh, like with the previous Strada you still have a central armrest but you have to open it again like this you have to put all your fingers all the way inside and pull it out like that so yeah everything looks the same only small cups and bottles will just fit here in the cup holders and two like with every other pickup truck open this up you have extra storage just behind it. And if I sit here now in the middle, there's a transmission tunnel but it's very narrow so put your feet wherever you want. And sitting here in the middle, surprisingly, is much much softer and comfortable than in the left and right side of the seat. But yes, this one's a bit uh, more stiffer on the back but for my where my ass is, yes, it's much more comfortable. Whew, yeah, okay. So for the cost of all of this new Titan GLX, apologies, I wasn't expecting to shoot this car today. So for this GLX 4x2 automatic, this one costs 1,383,000 pesos. So yet the price is now right smack in the middle of the Titan lineup. So interesting, my best friend, the Strada GLS, well now Titan GLS is now only second to the athlete model. So very interesting take on uh, the naming plates here in the Philippines now. I want to know what that GLS is like now and of course let's not forget how the athlete will look like but the time of this release everybody will have their reviews up by then so at least uh, I did a little bit something different here too with this uh, GLX so yeah that's about it here too with this uh, Mitsubishi Triton GLX so I'd like to thank everyone here again at Mitsubishi Auto BGC to Sir Ram and to Sir Mart for making this all possible and special thanks too to my sponsor Apex Racing Philippines again you may check out their flagship Moza products and other simulations Rigs. Hope you guys like and subscribe and I will see you with more future car reviews and hopefully the test drive of this all new Titan. Bye bye.